Okay, you are going to love this. Imagine an arts festival where you can afford all of the art in all of the booths. Well, this weekend, you can find artwork worth thousands of dollars at epic discounts at the Affordable Arts Festival. Here's my chat with director Jim Deluts. Well, Jim, it is my pleasure to see you today. Let's talk about the Affordable Arts Festival and the goal. What's the goal here? The goal, uh, yeah, this is our 10th year and it, it, it puts art in people's hands uh, where they can afford it since everything's $100 or less. It allows the artist to move a tremendous amount of work in one day. And it also helps fund uh, scholarships at the Arapaho Community College. Yeah, one of the things that popped in my head is that this event is so unique. Can you tell us about that and why it's unique to the metro area? Oh, it's unique to west of the Mississippi, actually. We're, it's the only show like it. Uh, there's one in Milwaukee and there's us. And uh, it's, it's unique because people are able, again, to come in, pay $100 or less for pieces of art that are, you know, this year our best deal was a $5,000 original oil painting for $100. You don't get that at most art shows. No, you're not. And I'm already getting excited just listening to that. Okay, when people come, what kind of art can they see and buy? You know, we've got painting, we've got glass, we've got sculpture, there's jewelry, uh, there's 2D mixed media, there's uh, sculpture, everything that you want at an arts festival. We have we have 163 artists, so you, you'll find something. <laughs> Yeah, 163 artists, very versatile. So definitely something for everyone here, Jim. You mentioned $100 or less. Now, is that the case? Yes, absolutely. Everything has to be $100 or less. Everything you see in the, in the artist booth, it's for sale and it's $100 or less. Okay, I know that this is a pretty popular event. So do you recommend people get there early or any advice you have for us? Yeah, people do get in line early, especially if they have a specific artist they're trying to get to and get their, their pieces. Uh, but, you know, the crowd really starts building probably around 7 a.m. with the gates open at 9. Uh, the really hardcore people are in line about 2 a.m., but you don't need to do that. The lines aren't terrible at 7 a.m. Um, and again, there's so so much art. There's, uh, artists have hundreds of pieces each, you know, for sale. So that it, it doesn't run out all day long as there's deals. I think that is so fantastic, especially if you've been wanting to get your hands on a great piece of art. Okay, let's talk about tickets. People wanting to get those tickets, what's the best way? Uh, you know, we have it online. Tickets are $12. Uh, kids that are 12 and under are free. Uh, they can go to the website, affordableartsfestival.com, and uh, click for the, on the ticket and buy it online. We'll also be selling them at the, at the gate. But also, people watching, I put a code in, C-O-C-O, uh, -O -C -O, uh, capital, all capital letters, when you're buying a ticket online, uh, and you'll get a dollar off each ticket you're buying. Okay, I have to ask, Jim, there's a piece of art behind you. It's really caught my eye. Tell me about it, and is that one going to be for sale? Um, are we talking about this one? Yes. <laughs> uh, this is the <laughs> good taste. This is the five thousand, one of the five thousand dollar pieces uh, that'll be going uh, for a hundred dollars. <laughs> so that's an original oil painting by Tate Hamilton out of Denver, and um, that's a about a ninety nine percent discount, which is close to free, isn't it? And then I have a few more pieces here. Let's take a quick look at those, and and uh, you can see the variety of the work that can that that'll be at the show. This next piece is a digital artist, um, uh, Mark Ludy out of uh, Windsor. And that piece uh, was $700 originally, and it's $100. And it's a big piece, that's four feet across. So people have big walls, we, we can take care of that. And here, a uh, photograph by Dan Sawwich out of Loveland. Um, again, that's 32 by 50, the size on that one. And that was $1,600 originally, and uh, it'll be $100. And this piece is uh, uh, Barbara Marcus McKenna out of Lyons, and uh, that's uh, she's a printmaker. And that piece was originally uh, 1,200, and will be 100 dollars. And this is oh, that was nice. Lisa Diamor Sanchez out of Arvada, and that piece was 800 dollars, and now it's one. You know, here's a piece of glass from Linda Backus out of Lakewood. And that one was 400 originally, and now it's 100. But not everything I'm saying 100, 100, 100, but 
trust me, there's things that are $20, et cetera. And this next piece of jewelry, you'll see, that was a $185 piece of jewelry, a necklace by um, Jennifer Lucia. And that piece is now $75 instead of 185 Sounds like it's the event to be at. Jim, thank you so much for being with us today and for sharing that amazing art with us. You bet. Thanks for having me. And you can browse works from over 160 artists, all priced at $100 or less at the Affordable Arts Festival. It's this Sunday, August 29th at the Arapahoe Community College campus. Your $12 ticket supports the Arapahoe Community College Foundation. Buy tickets and learn more at affordablearts.festival.com.